Welcome back to the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. Well, today we're talking about the hospitality industry, uh, hotels around the U.S. Please welcome my next guest. It's Robert Habib. He's president and CEO of First Hospitality Group. Uh, they're a national hotel management company that provides management, acquisition, development, and receivership services. They're focused on hotel operations in Chicago and the surrounding Midwest areas. And he is joining us on the phone today. Mr. Habib, thanks for joining us. Yeah, good morning, Michael. I'm glad to be here. Well, we appreciate it, and uh, we'd like to, to look at uh, the industry from, from your point of view, right? You're, you're really in the middle of it with all the hotels that you guys own and, and manage and operate. And one of the things that, that we've heard today is that uh, the business is doing well, that uh, there's remarkable uh, strength in uh, occupancy today uh, and improvement in uh, rates that's, uh, that's been happening. Uh, and income for these properties. So uh, is it time to build and, and kind of what tips would you have for people that uh, are maybe thinking about investing uh, in development of new hotels today? Well, we're coming off a great year. 2015 saw RevPAR and RevPAR is the central um, indicator in hotel performance. Uh, but RevPAR improvements of about 7% and uh, our, our portfolio is blessed. We're, we're right around 11%. Uh, which which is as good as uh, as we've seen in a very long time, and 2016 looks to be another decent year. Probably not a seven percent national uh, improvement in Rev Bar, but in, in the six percent range, uh, which again would be certainly a a, a great uh, rebound from the the uh, 2000 and uh, 2008 2009 um, fall off. Uh, and and hotel development is booming right now, and that that probably is one of the biggest challenges that we might see in the future. We we have about a 13 percent uh, increase in room supply nationally coming in the next year or so, and uh, that's going to be a bit of a challenge to absorb even on these strong performance numbers. So that's interesting. So I guess your tip on the development there is be careful where you're developing. <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, some markets are obviously much more active uh, than others. And in, in our home base, for example, Chicago, there's a, an awful lot of hotel development going on, and there there will reach a point where uh, supply outstrips demand, and uh, that happens, yeah, you know, every cycle in our business. And uh, if you're thinking about developing a hotel, you might be too late because <laughs> most of the projects that are in some stage of planning right now. Um, you know, are again the market of Chicago, for example, going to accumulate to about a 20% increase in room supply, and that's probably about as much as you want to do in any given market. Right, right. Good point. Well, brands um, are a big part of the hotel industry, aren't there? It's like everyone has their their favorite brands. So, what's the scoop on brands today? Well, you know, the big talk is this uh, uh, acquisition by Marriott International of Starwood, and and that creates. Uh, a monster brand, if you will. The uh, uh, the Marriott brands already uh, are in parity with Hilton in terms of their size, and they have a great uh, presence in, across all segments. And then add Starwood to the mix, and Marriott becomes a behemoth. And that's uh, certainly the, the the brand talk. Um, we we develop largely in the Marriott and Hilton families. We do some Hyatt product uh, as well as some uh, Intercontinental hotels. So. Uh, you know, we, we, we're encouraged by that merger, but it's going to probably skew the playing field a little bit. Right, right. Well, it seems like there's uh, great things uh, ahead of us for the hotel industry, and it's certainly great now, but everyone also looks at the, the risk of, of any uh, venture today. So, you know, I guess one of the uh, risks in, in a lot of uh, industries around the country, around the world today, is kind of the uh, technology and, and, and particularly kind of the sharing economy uh, that's going on now. So how is the sharing economy impacting uh, your industry? The sharing economy is, is really becoming a big factor in the hotel industry. In, in 2010, less than 5% of consumers said that they uh, have stayed in a shared accommodation. And this year, that number is up around 30% and growing. And you see uh, a real acceptance by consumers of uh, uh, sites like Airbnb and um, a willingness to stay in private accommodation rather than hotels. And, and that clearly will have an impact uh, in our business as as time goes on. Uh, you know, we, we as an industry are really uh, pushing back on, on this kind of um, 
the the Airbnb model uh, because it's unlicensed, unregulated, untaxed, and we feel it's it presents uh, an unfair uh, playing field for hotels. And as that segment of the economy keeps growing, uh, we're, we're going to see a, a fairly significant impact and on a performance eventually. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. What other technology out there is impacting uh, the hotel industry? Uh, you know, the hotel I stayed at a couple weeks ago. I, I came in, I checked in, and, and everything at a kiosk, and uh, and it was really convenient. Uh, you know, you, you kind of miss the the person at the front desk, but it was convenient. What 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 is the technology doing in your industry? You know, technology tends to be driving just about everything, especially in the consumer space today, and the hotel business is no different. Um, we're, we're now experimenting with uh, keyless uh, uh, hotels uh, where you're going to get your key sent to your, your PDA, and then you'll use your PDA to open your door. As you mentioned, kiosks, which interestingly enough haven't been very widely received. People do like that front desk experience, but offering the kiosk as an option for somebody that's time starved is, is gaining popularity. Uh, we, you know, in, in the hotels, we, it's a it's a foot race to stay ahead of uh, bandwidth demands because uh, everybody is um, using uh, their uh, uh, computers and their PDAs to, to such an extent that it seems that the more bandwidth we add, the more we have to add. Uh, and then you've got all these, you know, there's an app for everything now, and so we're we're having to stay ahead of um, uh, marketing apps like Hotels Tonight, the market in the day for the day, and uh, these other consumer apps that allow people different uh, channels to buy their hotel rooms. Yeah, that's interesting. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to talk to Robert Habib about some of the other issues, including Obamacare and increase in minimum wages impact on the industry. Stay with us. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Bull Realty, a great place to do business. Excelligent, information for the professionals. And Commercial Search, properties for sale and lease. To access these companies or for additional videos, podcasts, and articles, visit CREshow.com. <laughs> 